All right, so this video is going to be my, like, how I think the state of the game is right now, just a lot of different aspects of the game. Probably planning do on doing one of these, like, probably once a year, if I keep this channel up. So we're going to start off with the progression system, builds, and sort of end game gear. Which, honestly, right now, I think it's in the best state it's been. We've got so many different options to get to end game. Like, before, it used to be you had to go the snow dress route, or you had to go... Hell Armor 2 or Emperor's Dress now. You can go Emperor's Dress 3 if you want a lot of health. You can go Skull Dress 4. You can go Nightmare Dress. You've just got way more options for what to do when you get to endgame. And so I think that's probably in the best place it's ever been in the game. Next, I'm talking about like the things to do and like how good the specific areas are. Right now I think it's pretty good. We've got a lot of areas like say your starter early game, not quite 151 yet. You can be grinding Modena Ruins and Hell to get Irbium and some good upgrades like Modena Dress and the Hell Spike. That being said, there are a couple areas that are pretty useless right now. Like Ice Caverns got nerfed so heavily pretty recently that it's just a complete waste of time to go there in general. You can farm Queen Threes faster in Modena Ruins with easier enemies. You can get Vulcan faster in the Nightmare Valley. Irbium just is non-existent there anymore. So apart from that though, like... Modena Arena, you can get specialized drops that you can't get in Modena, so I think it's a pretty good area. And uh, Nightmare Valley is just to go there for everything in Endgame, so... The only thing I'd say is maybe add somewhere that, like, sort of somewhere to Nightmare Valley, maybe a little bit more difficult, that drops Nightmare or in Dark Hearts more often, but then you can't get Irbium or Vulcan in. So say you want only want to specialize in those two, there's a quicker way to get it where you're not getting those other, like, higher-end materials. But yeah. Next is about like your skill level and how much that matters. Right now, I think it's not the best it's ever been, but it's pretty good. In the past, like before Ice Caverns, you really didn't need a lot of skill to play the game. Once you got to enough defense to tank hell, you could just sort of tank everything and run straight forward. Which right now, you're not quite at that level. Like Unless you're maxed out, there's you still got to play, you got to dodge, you got to jump around in Nightmare Valley and it's fine. But it's not quite to the level of when Ice Caverns first released, and you had to like use long range and your King's Mace, and you couldn't. You had to think of all these different strategies to get through it. So I think it'd be cool if they added an area where the enemies did so much damage, that even with max defense, you couldn't tank it. So you had to use like give magic items a use, or give things with more knockback a use, where it's really difficult as far as damage wise, but maybe it's easier to dodge the enemies or something. That way, there's an area for like it takes more skill to go instead of just sort of mindlessly running through it. In case, which again, there are good places for both. Sometimes you want to just run through an area. But if you want to be more involved with the game, something like that. Uh, next is the trading and just sort of multiplayer system. Right now, I personally think the trading is in the worst state it's ever been. And the reason of that is because of how good the progression is. Being right now, for pretty much every progressive system, progression system, you're going to need Irbium, you're going to need Vulcan, and you're going to need Nightmare or Dark Hearts. Which means no one is selling any of those three things because they know they're going to need it later. And there's not really a good solution to this because if I'm grinding Irbium for, let's say, Emperor's Dress, and then I know I'm going to want Emperor's Dress 3 later, which takes Vulcan bars and Nightmare bars, I'm not going to get then start selling my Vulcan for Irbium because I know it's a lot harder to get. So I'm just going to hoard it until I get to that step. So if there is like a material exchange or some easier way where players could sell it without feeling, sell their materials without feeling like they're missing out. That's the only way I could really see to fix the trading, but I feel like it's not going to get better really anytime soon. As far as just general multiplayer goes, I mean, it's about the same it's always been. There's less hackers and crashers and whatnot. So I think it's in a pretty good state. There's not a whole lot they can do to change that, so I think it's fine. And the last part is about the new player experience. Like if you're a f first time logging on or if you just lost your account and you're restarting again, how's that? As far as for someone who's brand new to the game, I think it's probably the best it's ever been. I mean, they've got an actual tutorial now, and if you log into areas, you can have people carry you through harder arenas because the gear is so good now. You can carry pretty much anyone through anything now. I think it's pretty good, especially if you say you lost your account, you're coming in starting from scratch, but you already know about the game, and you've got friends on the game. They can carry you through Hell, they can carry you through Modena, and you can get up to 151, as long as you're lucky, relatively quickly. Because Armor Ring 5s and Jade Ring 5s drop from Ghost Arena and from Doom. You can get the Modena Dress without even having to kill bosses in Modena Ruins Nightmare Valley. So you can get pretty decent gear pretty fast without having to do too much grinding if you're lucky and if you have friends. 
I'd say the new player experience is pretty good right now. Yeah, that's everything I got right now. If there's anything else you got questions on, feel free to leave a comment. My next video will probably be about my top three tips on how to get just better at the game.